Hello and welcome to something a little different in this Ginger Man episode. So, recently I've been doing some filming work with the Hive in Kirkcaldy and it turns out they were doing some work with the Five Flyers uh, and I've bagged myself a free ticket and a possible puck drop. This car is getting nice and close to me here, lovely stuff. So, here I am at the Fife Ice Rink to see the Fife Flyers take on the Cardiff Devils. This is all new and it's going to be amazing. I can't wait to see what it's all about. So, Fife Flyers, show me what you got. Peace. Look at this, Fife Ice Arena. Are you excited for the hockey? Yeah. Yes, man. This is exciting. This is 20 minutes. I don't know how long the game is. I think maybe 20 minutes and a half. Let's go Flyers. There's standard seating, right? Uh -huh. And then there's Heated seatings. Uh -huh. That's where Maya and our mum and that. Well, this is heated seating. Uh, the section where they oh, you right. get seats. Amazing. Warm. So we've got heated seating up here. Behind the glass. Behind the glass. <laughs> but I'm happy with the cold because I'm continuing a theme of cold weather episodes now. Here we go. I've got my ticket. It's a mascot. <laughs> Starting to busy up now. We're at the stall where there is a new Pride Five Flyer strip coming out, and the Hive are doing a giveaway for the strip um, with a raffle. So I've just got myself into that two tickets that will be drawn uh, on the 10th of February, and I've also just gone and got myself a Five Flyers Tammy. It's all happening here, it's all exciting. I can't wait for the hockey. I'm also hungry, so I might go and check out the food stall too. I'm going to go check my seat out, see what the view's like. Also, I need to go and get some, check out the food. I see chips, cheese and curry sauce on the menu. So I'll be trying out some of the, the delicacies. JV, JV18, that's where I am, JV. Oh, here's B, here's 18. Where's my seat? JV18. What a view. Look at this. Oh my days, I'm excited. The Five Flyers are in the top British league. So they're a big deal. And the Cardiff Devils are doing pretty well. And the Five Flyers are near the bottom of the league. I'll insert the league table in now. So I. Hopefully they can get a win. It's, they, the odds are against them, but they're at home and they've got the crowd on their side tonight, so... The Devils are out. sister caught a puck. How are you feeling? Awesome. How are you feeling? Yeah. Oh, it's solid rubber. <laughs> I wouldn't want one of them in the face. And their visors only cover their eyes. So, oh my God.
flyers. It's near impossible to follow oh, the puck. It was in the face. Oh, Someone just took a puck to the face. He's down. 2-0. Oh, said oh sorry. Oh, hey. Can I use the sands? It's going to do that. Oh, I nipped to the toilet and the time I've gone to the toilet and come back it's now 3-1. <laughs> Unbelievable. First period over. <coughs> I'll tell you how my chips, cheese, and curry sauce went, but they went all over me. <laughs> so I've just found out there's three periods, not four, of 20 minutes. So it's the end of the first period, Flyers are 3 1 up, and um, there's a 20 minute break. How, how leisurely, it's like cricket. There's breaks all the time, just go chill out. Fist bump it. Yes, man. Yes, man. Yes. On that, boys. On that, boys. 7 1. 7 1. What's the score? Four. Three, one. The five flyers. Dastardly Devils have just scored its 3-2. Just after uh, the Fires had a 1-1 -on -one with the keeper, nearly scored to make it 4-1. Oh, oh, what the? That flew! Sure, this is more fun than the football. Just have music playing all the time. Every time the game stops, on comes the music. It's going to come on again. I'm starting to learn the rules now. Here comes the music. Every time the keeper catches the puck, there is a face-off in one of these wee big circles next to the goals. I think they do a bit of curling here too. I'm interested in curling. You know, less action half this one. Period. Four minutes left. We've got a face off. Right, second period's almost over. Three and a half seconds. It's three two, so not too much action. 
and one of the devils has uh, been sent off. That's good. Sent off in the sin bin for two minutes. We're going to chuck some pups at the half time break. Yeah, that's good, Lindsay. That's really good. Oh, too much roll. You push someone closer. Oh, this is fun. Everyone throws their pups. Like this guy, oh, there you go. Uh, I know for a fact my puck is not one of the closest pucks. So, we're into the first final period and the Devils are starting with a man in the Simbin for another 1 minute 57. Meg. It's now 3-0. He didn't even get it out for him. He, had, he made the, key, the ref go right into the team. He's upset, his team, from 3-0 up to 3-0. So I'll go and Pete Tong for the five flyers are now 4-3 down, 14 minutes on the clock, can they turn this around? You want to see everyone running off the bench eh, with their helmets off, they're all up, ready to go like. There's almost a scrap. Where's Pylon? <laughs> <laughs> Pylon's coming on. There's my favourite player, Hum, Hummet Stinger. Hummet Stinger. Hummet Stinger, number 21. Pylon. There's a guy called Pylon. <laughs> Four minutes to go. One goal down. The fires are all over them now. Oh! It's a penalty! Oh. Right, we're going down now to hand out the Man of the Match award. The game's not finished yet, so hopefully by the time we get down there, we can watch the end of the match, watch a couple of goals be scored. Where do we do it from? Man of the match. Come on. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No goal. No goal offside. Doesn't care if I was a goal. Exciting end to that match, but the Devils win 4-3. Oh, okay, though. We've got on a good show, the boys. Now we're going to get to go on the ice and present. On you, I'm just filming. So the guys from the Hive are now going to present. Okay, on you, go on filming. <laughs> are going to present the man of the match award to the man of the match. I don't know who it goes to. Marketing is evening to present Man of the Match to the Cardiff Devils. Devils. Can we please welcome Lindsay Williamson and Jenna Sexton and Bobby Quinn on today's to make the presentation, please? Man of the Match then for the Cardiff Devils goes to number 22, Justin Crandall. There he is there. With the boys, the devils, pesky devils. Ladies and gentlemen, the count of devils. Goes to number 91, the Battle of Kells and Catherine sponsor, Troy Lattinex. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see it one more time for your five flyers! Here they come. <laughs> oh, 
And that is the Five Flyers. A lot of good strong beards in that team. Right, oh, that's me back in my car. I've had to stop somewhere for food on the way home because when I was there, I had some nice chips, cheese and curry sauce and I was heading over to grab a fork for it and then a kid barged past me and knocked out my hand and all over me and all over my camera just as the game was starting. I was uh, pretty sad about that. But it's okay because the game started amazing. They were 3-0 up and then they lost 4-3. But hey, that's okay because for me that was an amazing experience. I just wished they'd maybe got the draw or the win at the end to take it to extra time and stuff. But... It doesn't matter, I had a great time and I'll be back. Look, I've even got my Tammy now, uh, so I'm an official Fife Flyers fan. Thanks to The Hive for inviting me along to come and do that uh, and just take part. They gave out the man of the match at the end, so I got to go on the ice. That was amazing fun. Uh, aye, it's been a wintry, a wintry few weeks of episodes. I'm looking forward to the spring now, but aye, we'll continue on. So, Five Flyers, thanks for having me. It's been a great evening. Just a shame you didn't win, but well done to the Cardiff Devils. Anyway, I'm away home to my bed. Peace. Well, it was a lovely to see you. It's the end of the show. Bring on tomorrow. Where shall we go? Where shall we go? One last ice cream for the bearded man, the stashy old.